I'm Jimmy Blakeney with IELTS Paddleboards, and I'm also an ACA instructor trainer. I've trained tens, maybe hundreds of thousands of paddlers over the past 10 years through my YouTube videos. And I get a lot of requests for people that want a really simple introductory video to get them started. So first things first, we're gonna talk about safety. When you're learning to paddle, always stay in calm, protected waters. Also, you wanna always wear your life jacket and your leash when you're out on the water and you're learning. Next, make sure you paddle somewhere where you don't have any boat traffic to get in your way. And finally, always paddle with a friend. Okay, so when it comes to our paddle, we're gonna to wanna to size our paddle by placing it in front of our foot, opening the adjustment mechanism on your paddle, and raising up your arm until your arm is just comfortably extended. Once you do that, that's about the right length. Then you wanna check your elbows and make sure your elbows are bent about 90 degrees. That's a good reference for how wide you wanna hold your paddle. If you hold it too narrow, you're not gonna be able to paddle very efficiently. So we're gonna put on our leash before we get out of the water. You can wear it around your ankle or around your calf. We're gonna find a spot where we have deep water so that the fin doesn't catch. I like to turn the board parallel to shore and I'll wade out into water that I know is deeper than my fin is long, then I'm ready to get on the board. I'll place my paddle across in front of the carry handle and I'm gonna put my knees on either side of the handle, push away from shore, and I'm gonna stay on my knees. While I'm on my knees, I'm gonna focus on three key things before I go to stand up. One is placing the paddle fully in the water before I take a stroke. And I'm gonna work on switching sides because we have to be able to switch sides. I take the top hand off, switch over, switch sides. Finally, you'll notice that my paddle blade is canted forward. This is the correct way to hold your paddle. You don't wanna hold your paddle backwards where we're scooping the water. And the reason is, is because that lifts water instead of allowing you to propel yourself forward when the blade is in a vertical orientation in the water. All right, so once I've practiced on my knees, I'm comfortable on my knees. In order to stand up, I'm gonna take a stroke or two because that's gonna give me a little momentum. I'm gonna place the paddle across the board, look ahead, get my feet flat, be in a squat position with my back straight, and I'm gonna come up, and I'm gonna quickly get that blade in the water, okay? The quicker you get the blade in the water and take a stroke, the more stable you're gonna be. My knees are slightly bent, my tailbone's tucked under, and now I'm stand up paddleboarding. Okay, so we're up, we're paddling around, we're having fun. A few things to consider to be more efficient with our strokes. The first thing is the paddle shaft should be vertical, but when I take my stroke to go straight and the paddle comes out at my foot, we don't paddle behind us. The second thing is if I want to turn the board instead of go straight, instead of a vertical paddle, I'm going to have it at about a 45 degree angle. Again, place the blade fully in, and then I'm going to push the paddle away from the board. This is going to let us turn. I can also do that from the tail. So that's the way we turn our board and turn around. That's called a sweep stroke. We're up, we're cruising. We're getting a great workout. We got the blade fully in the water. Another thing to keep in mind to be more efficient, we're gonna rotate our hips and shoulders and plant the paddle and we're gonna use our core, all right? We're not just gonna paddle with our arms like this. We're gonna actually plant the paddle and we're gonna act like we're planting it in cement and pull ourselves past the paddle blade. And I've gotta rotate my hips and shoulders in order to do this. All right, so we just went out, we had a great paddle, time to come back to shore. Before we get too close to shore, we're gonna do a squat, drop down to our knees, back to paddling on our knees. I'm gonna come in close to shore. At this point, I can let the nose run up on shore. When I'm still in the water, I can easily lift the rail and the water supports the board. Then I can grab it with the handle, and walk up out of the water. There we go. So that's a wrap. If you enjoyed this video, check out the rest of our videos, our Better and Balance SUP tips and tricks, and we'll see you out there on the water.